Hello Sunday School students and parents, Pastor Eric Kleinschmidt here with you again for lesson three of our virtual Sunday School, Cain and Abel. We are on page 15 in our textbook. If you have one at home, please follow along. If you'd like one for your own personal use, I will post the link to where one can be purchased uh, down below in the comments. Or if you're a member of Redeemer Lutheran Church, you can contact the church office and we'd be glad to get one. To you. Page 15, Cain and Abel. Adam and Eve had a baby boy and named him Cain. He grew up to be a farmer. They had another baby boy and called him Abel. He grew up to be a shepherd. Adam and Eve taught their sons God's promise to send a savior. To thank God for that great promise, they burned up some of their food with fire. We call that an offering. When Cain and Abel grew up, the time came to bring their offering. Cain was not very happy. He didn't want to give up some of his food. But Abel brought the very best that he had because he loved God and knew how much he needed the Savior God promised. God was pleased with Abel's sacrifice, but not with Cain's. That made Cain really, really mad. But Cain should have been mad at himself and not Abel. He should have realized how much he needed the Savior and asked God to forgive him and help him do better next time. Instead, he hated his brother Abel for making him look bad. God talked to Cain. He warned Cain about the anger burning in his heart. That anger wanted to take control and make him do something bad, but Cain didn't listen. Instead, he led Abel out into a field and then hit him so hard he died. Afterward, the Lord asked Cain, Where is Abel, your brother? Cain didn't feel bad at all. He said, Am I my brother's keeper? Was God expecting him to follow Abel around like he was still a little boy? But God knew. He asked him, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground. God loves each of us very much. And when one of us gets hurt, God does something about it. God told Cain that no crops would grow for him anymore. Cain should have felt bad about what he did to Abel, but instead he only felt sorry for himself. My punishment is greater than I can bear. He had just killed his brother, but thought God was the one who was being unfair. He was afraid his other brothers would punish him for killing their brother Abel. But God still loved Cain. He put a mark on him, so that when his brothers would see that mark, they would leave him alone. Cain should have thanked God for that mark. He should have begged God to send the Savior to forgive him for killing Abel. Instead, Cain wanted nothing more to do with God. He turned and went away to live his life without God. Sometimes we get really angry at people. When we pray to God to help us, he takes that anger away from our hearts and fills us with love for them instead. Let's pray. God, you know the times I have been really angry at people. Sometimes it was because of bad things they did to me. Other times I was angry for no good reason at all. Please forgive me of all sinful anger for the sake of Jesus. Teach me to love everyone around me the way that you love me. In Jesus' name, amen. Three things that I would like to tell you about our lesson today. The first is something you already know. Our families are a true gift from God. God, by design, makes sure that each of us has a family when we start out life. And that's a beautiful and wonderful thing. And we're very thankful for all the people that God places in our family. But because of sin, sometimes even wonderful families that love each other very much will fight. Brothers, sisters fight. Parents may fight. Children may fight with parents, even grandparents, cousins. All that happens because of sin. Jesus deals with sin and he makes us part of his family and he forgives our sins against each other, even as he forgives all of our sins. Three questions for you today. Describe a time when you were really, really mad at someone. 
Can you think of a time recently or perhaps from a long time ago when somebody just made you really, really mad? Think about what happened and what you did or what they did. Talk about that. Two, how do you feel after you know that you have hurt someone? And how should you feel? So when you know that you've done something to someone else that wasn't right, that was mean or unkind, how does that make you feel? And just in general, how should hurting somebody else make you feel? Finally, since all of us came from Adam and Eve, we're all brothers and sisters because we all go back to Adam and Eve as our great, 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 great grandparents, maybe even more greats than that. Since we all go back to Adam and Eve and everyone is part of the same family, how does that change how we treat each other or how should that change how we treat each other in our world today? Finally, I'd like to talk to you about what our catechism says about what Cain did to Abel. Our small catechism in the fifth commandment describes the following as how we keep God's commandment not to murder. It says, you shall not murder. That is God's command to us. But what does this mean? It means we should fear and love God so that we do not hurt or harm our neighbor in his body, but help and support him in every physical need. It's not enough just to not hurt someone. We have to help them too. That's what God wants us to do. Let's close with the Lord's Prayer and then our video will be done for this week. Please pray with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I will post the link to last week's Sunday School class up above in case you missed it. And I pray that you will have a wonderful and blessed week.